so what we are witnessing people it looks like a lot of unhappy people have now stormed the Capitol and are inside the Capitol building where is this going to lead none of us really know this is all and what I talk about being prepared for the unknown for all the chaos that is going on in this country, not just what you're seeing right here, but everything else. If you really want to sit back and think about this, yes, people have a right to peacefully protest. People have always had that right. But when they push the limits, Let's hope it stays peaceful. Let's hope that nobody gets hurt, shot, or killed. Because when you're that close to government officials, anything can happen. Maybe some of these people at this point don't care. Time will tell, I guess. Let's listen in a little. To disavow this, no, to tone down on the, the violence. Exactly. In fact, he has been upping the rhetoric against Mike Pence. Uh, and that is, it's beyond irresponsible. He has a responsibility. These are his supporters. They're carrying Trump flags. So he could say to them, stop, back away, don't do this, and he won't do it. We are watching an attempted sedition. We are watching watching an attempt at a bloodless coup in the United States. Trump supporters stopping the constitutional process, the counting of electors. The mayor has invoked a 6 p.m. curfew. More police reinforcements are coming to Capitol Hill. Uh, let's go now to Brian Todd, who is on the scene. Brian, where are you and what are you seeing? Uh, Jake, we're on the east side of the Capitol, the east front, the east steps, and you see uh, that huge group of protesters on the steps. You can also see some Capitol Hill police on the balcony to the side. They don't appear to have the numbers to deal with this right now, but they're donning riot gear. We saw some smoke oh, deployed earlier. Not idea. sure exactly how that started, but you can see the Capitol. There are some Capitol Hill police up there, uh, probably awaiting orders <laughs> on what to do, and we are told that there are reinforcements coming. Uh, from different law enforcement up here, but they are not here yet. I can tell you that there was a group of DC police at 20 or so that showed up here a short time. So people you want to know why you need to be prepping Why uh, all along I have been saying you need to make sure that you're prepared for the unknown for things that we cannot control for things that are taking place right now and Lord only knows what's going to happen once Biden is actually sworn into office. What kind of reaction certain groups will have. Hopefully they will be peaceful and hopefully that no one gets hurt, as I said before. But if they don't start backing down soon... Things are not going to turn out too well. Let's just hope that somehow, some way, things can get calmed down, people back off, do their protests from the streets where they're supposed to be, and move on with this whole situation. Now, at this point in time, hopefully you all are prepared. Hopefully you all have a backup plan. Hopefully you have an emergency plan. Hopefully you got some cash. Because things like this affect more than just the media, the news, the people that are involved, as you see in the video here. Don't be surprised if you see the stock markets are starting to take a tumble. Don't be surprised if you see 
people getting frightened and running to the stores to buy supplies. When in, basically, you should have already had your supplies, so you don't have to worry about it. So this is survival preparedness for beginners. And the breaking news is, well, it looks like the U.S. Capitol just got some new tenants. And so, until next time, I'll catch you all on the safe side.